So how do you purge the fuel lines on your Harley Davidson? Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoy the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below. Check out the website revelatoralpha.com and click the bell next to the subscribe button for all the latest videos. Okay, so in this video, I'm talking about purging the fuel lines on a Harley Davidson motorcycle. So in this case, I've got a, uh, a modern uh, soft tail sport glide, but you can apply the same uh, to all the uh, other modern uh, motorcycles from Harley Davidson, certainly in the soft tail range and in the, in the tall range as well. Okay, so what you're gonna have to do is uh, you're gonna have to loosen the tank mounting bolts. Uh, the, the one at the front, just um, loosen that. And then you're gonna have to remove the one at the rear here. You also obviously gonna have to remove the seat as well. Uh, so uh, let's do that. Now at the front here, it literally is just an Allen key on, on the one side and just uh, uh, an acorn nut on the other side. It's a 5 16 Allen key on this side and a 14 mil spanner on the other side will, uh, will work just as well. All you need to do is just loosen that. Right, let's go to the rear and this we have to remove the bolts. Okay, so acorn nut and washer removed. Keep those somewhere safe. Pull out the bolt on this side and pop it all together. And just place it on the floor where it's uh, gonna be safe. Okay, so the next thing to do is literally just lift the back of the uh, tank up like so, just so it clears a little bit and then just rest it back down. All you want to do is just make sure that nothing is binding in that first inch or so. Now we're gonna move on to the next bit. Okay, so at the front of the tank, as we are lifting up the rear, you wanna make sure that nothing is gonna catch on the handlebars as well. So make sure your handlebars are straight and also that it's covered with a rag or something, just in case. Okay, that's all covered up. Now we're gonna lift the, uh, the rear of the tank up and we're gonna look for the fuel pump connector and I'll show you where that is. Okay, so as we lift the tank up, we're looking for the uh, fuel uh, pump here and the connector that comes out of the fuel pump right at the front here. This bit here, that's the connector there. And that's the one that we want to disconnect. There we go. So what you need to do on the top of the connector, you need to push down on the top of the connector and slide it out. So once you've done that, rest the tank back down. You do get a little bit oily, but that's what happens. Okay, so at this stage, all you've done is loosened off the tank and you've disconnected the fuel pump as well. So no more fuel will be drawn out of the tank to feed the engine. Next, we have to purge the fuel lines, blow them out essentially. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so the next thing is to start the engine, start it up and let it stall. Once it's stalled, just operate the starter for three seconds and that will blow out the rest of the fuel or purge the uh, fuel lines completely. Let's do that. There we go, that is the uh, fuel line purge. Now sometimes in my case I say it didn't start uh, because there isn't enough fuel in there as well. It's already pre-purged as it were. Uh, but sometimes it will start and it has to stall and then you just press it for another three seconds and that's it. Now the only reason you would do this is if you're gonna remove the tank because you have to work on the engine. But this just purges the fuel lines. Okay, so once you've finished uh, with your work on your engine, whatever it is, you put the fuel tank back on, then you just need to reconnect to that uh, fuel connector and then just tighten down the, uh, the rear mounting uh, bolt for the tank and obviously tighten up the uh, front mounting bolt as well. Okay, now to tighten up the bolts, uh, obviously you will need one of these bad boys, a torque wrench, and it's uh, 38 to 43.4 Newton meters, or 28 to 32 foot pounds of torque. So there you go, that's it. That's how you purge your fuel lines on your Harley Davidson uh, Softail or Tora. Uh, just loosen the uh, front mounting bolts of the tank, uh, take off the rear mounting bolt of the tank, lift up the tank, protect the tank at the front as well, and then disconnect that fuel connector 
right at the tank. It is a little bit fiddly, but just press down on the top of the connector and then slide it out and it will come out. Don't start yanking at it, just pull it out gradually and it will come out. Okay, hope you found that useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below, check out the website revelatoralf.com, click on the bell next to subscribe for all future videos and I'll catch you again. Bye now.